What's up guys, it's Juno. Welcome to uh, another Pokemon Showdown Live. This is episode number 78, and uh, I was so close to doing OU again, but um, I think I'm going to shift it around. Um, just because, you know, it was kind of awkward having just like one PS Live last week. So I think I'm going to split up two OU, two UU this week. We're going to be playing some UU, um, and we're going to be using this Hyper Offense team that uh, I threw together, like in 10 minutes probably um max attack uh cussed out for with a uh, stealth rock spikes explosion and rapid spin it's a suicide lead then we have a uh, sun lizard um who is you know a pretty cool mod on this meta just because it hits a lot with its coverage uh hyper voice grass knot uh thunderbolt and volt switch and then we also have choice banded entei which is a personal favorite of mine uh sacred fire flare blitz stone edge and extreme speed and then we also have sd obama snow which tears apart a lot of offensive teams if it uh, can come in on like a choice locked ground type or something like a water type that doesn't have like a fire type coverage move or something. Because um, most water types in UU carry water ice coverage, which doesn't do very well versus a bomb of snow. So, um, you know, SD can help tear apart offensive teams like that. Then we also have a Scarf Me and Xiao, which, you know, I needed a fast Scarfer. Uh, Revenge Killer can pick off a lot of stuff, like Mence at plus one with Stone Edge, which is really helpful for my team. Then I also have SDD Dewblade to just kind of make my team a little bit stronger on the physical side, despite the fact that I only have a Heliolisk as my special attacker. But um, SD Dewblade does a pretty good job of tearing apart some more low ladder teams. I'm not super high on the ladder yet, as you guys will see when I get my uh, first match. Versus Tipsy Russian, a Gobo Rain, cool. Um, the Smash Bros. Brawl joined. Why did I have to hit a confident player first time? Anyway, yeah, I'm 12 and 1 in the U suspect, and I also changed my showdown skin just because, you know, I could. Um, so I know. Um, I wish there was a way for me to see. Um, okay, so this is his rain setter, maybe. This is rain. I think he has five Swift Swimmers. Um, DT Quill Fish. It gets Swift Swim. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and lead with Fory. Um, because what I can do is even if he leads with this, uh, does this have Taunt? I kind of want to say this has Taunt. I'm gonna try to get Rocks up anyway. Uh, yeah, it has Taunt, which is fine. Um, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to spin this turn, and then, oh, he missed, that's convenient, um, he has given me a second chance, <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna go into Dewblade, I think, Dewblade, is that my play, I don't know, Rain is a really hard matchup to face off against, um, I guess I have a Bama, which is great, um, but, I'm gonna go Dewblade right here to take this, I really wanted Hazards up, which is kind of disappointing, but, Anyway, uh, he's just going to go for the Hurricane as a... Uh, um, can I just SD here? kind of want to SD, but then I, I know that Shadow Claw is probably my better play. So, I'm going to go ahead and hit him with the Shadow Claw right here. Um, it is a lower base power than Iron Head, but like, seeing as he has like four water types, um, is he just ends up going straight away for the thing, which is fine. Um... I'm just going to Shadow Claw again, because I get Shadow Claw plus Shadow Sneak damage on something else on his team. Don't confuse me. Doesn't confuse me. Beautiful. Um, so now this means that I get to face one of his five Swift Swimmers for, you know, um, five more turns, which is bad. But, and seeing as I only have one Water Resist, that's really l lame. Um, I don't face off very well against Gobo Rain. Rhyme. Um, Gobo Socks Joint. Wonderful. <laughs> Um, welcome to my live all, I guess. Okay, um, so, right here, I, it's like, it's really just pick your poison, I guess, because Tipsy Russian can literally click any one of his five water types and just come in here and get a kill. Um, I guess Quillfish would be nice, oh, I also have Heliolisk. Um, which I guess is great because it T-bolts his things and it's immune to their water stabs. Um, goes into Gorbis. I'm going to Shadow Claw. I'm not going to Shadow Sneak. Reason being, I don't want him shell smashing in my face and just ending the game right here. Um, I do have Custap Explosion, which is something I will look to take advantage of. Um, 
for Showdown Live. Um, I think I'm YG famous. I wish. LMAO. All right. Um, is this Specs? Hold up. Your boy is about to pause the video. Find Gobo Rain. Actually, nah. That that's kind of cheap. I'm not gonna do that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into Fortress, get my rocks up, and then kaboom, right in his face. Um, because I think that is my best play. Um, because that helps me kind of wear down his team with residuals, which is nice. It's always great to get some extra damage on this dude's stuff. And also, like, Fortress is not weak by any stretch of the imagination. Sure, this is, like, coverage move. Like, a 250 base power. Like, it's a 250 base power coverage move, is what I'm trying to say. Um, because he's about to take this explosion right here. Um, and the people in the chat are popping. Um, or the chat is popping. There's lots of people in it. That's what I was going for. Um, this is what happens when you finally get into Mons on a Sunday night. Um, so I guess that's great for me. So he goes for the Ice Beam. Um, I could probably go into Obama Snow if I really wanted to. What does that hit? 223? 400? Well, that outspeeds. I think. That's pretty sick. Um... There's only, like, one turn of rain left, I think. Let me... Uh, that'll double to 400. Like, even if he's timid, that'll double to 446. And that will go way over 446. I'm going to go into Manchow right here. Um, it was basically just coming down to Manchow or Obama Snow right there. Is I can just come and click U-turn and uh, get a free switch out into Heliolisk, I think, which will be very helpful for me. Um, and oh, look at that, Meowakin's coming through. I think, okay, so he summoned the rain on turn four. Five turns would be now, so there's actually two turns. That's lame. <laughs> um, I guess Heliolisk is the play. It's not a good play, but it's the play. Um, you, I just don't match up very well against Rain, I guess. And that's my biggest complaint about Oras in general, is that there's just so much stuff to prep for. Um, like, ma matchup dependency gets to be not as big of a problem as you move down in tiers, but there's still just so much to prepare for. So he goes into Second Amendment, the Polyrath right here. Um... And fighting attack is coming my way. What what fighting attacks does this get? Um, also, if you hear rattling around, that is indeed. Um, that is indeed my glass of water. Polyrath. You boy is doing some in-depth scouting right here. Gets brick break. Gets counter. Gets focus punch. Is is it running brick break? Is or is he just trying to scare me out? I'm clicking T-Bolt, I think. T-Bolty? Um, yeah, he's running Brick Break. That, that's disappointing. <laughs> so I'm going into me and shout. I didn't really have any switch in there because I kind of want priority. But um, I'm just going to click High Jump Kick. And it'll look like a complete fool in front of everybody in the chat. So hopefully reckless high jump kick will be able to kill i'm not adamant but um uh, the reason i'm not adamant is because i do want to be able to pick off jolly mints at plus one which is actually kind of a problem for my team if you start looking at it like yeah i have two steel types but one of them's a suicide lead the other one doesn't like taking a Ugh, that's disappointing um i gotta save this i think i gotta save this i'm gonna go out into entei right here um Actually, no. Couldn't I theoretically just click high jump kick right here? He could go out into Uxi. That's for sure. But I'm going to go out into Entei either way. Because if he stays in, then it's like I look like an idiot. But he does double to Swamper, which is nice. So if I could get the burn on this, that'd be beautiful. Um, that is the risk that he takes staying in right here. But, uh... Burn, burn, please. Oh, that's that's unfortunate. Um, but I guess as the Obama just comes in, I can just go for the seed bomb, I think is my safest play. It's unfortunate, but 
I yeah, I, I'm definitely gonna take an L right here. Hitting Gobo Rain is not something you want to do. <laughs> so may just throw out this live. We'll see. Um, kind of gotta get going though, cause it is a Sunday night, and I should get to bed before too late. But you know, we'll we'll see if I can bring it back. I do happen to be down four to two right now, cause I stupidly sacked Heliolisk, which would be perfect right now. Um, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. He goes for the great. He he, he makes the right play right there. I shouldn't have megged. Um. Because now he just goes out in a polyrath, picks up a kill, and I lose. But, you know, sometimes it happens, I guess. <laughs> Not a whole lot you can do, especially versus Gobarain. Like, Gobarain's good for a reason. And this is it right here. Ben Stiller. Cool. Um, I think I'm just clicking Earthquake. He'll probably just kill me off with a Poison Jab. But, you know, we'll see. Um, I don't think there's a whole lot of... Yeah, he just goes for the Poison Jab. Doesn't actually kill me, which is cool. So... I'm gonna make this look like, um, you still win, I think, but just Gobo Rain Strong. Um, probably just gonna Ice Shard right here. Yeah, like, I, I just straight up lose either way. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, I thought I did better than I could have, or like, I... You know, Gobarain is good in the current meta, and, you know, my team certainly wasn't prepared for it, but it's just kind of one of those matchup things that you kind of got to live with. Sorry if this live was a little choppy, by the way. I'll probably go ahead and get another one, um, d depending on how far we're into this. We're at, like, 11 minutes in. Yeah, I'll go ahead and grab one more live, just because that was a pretty subpar game. And this guy's a cool team, pretty hyper-offensive, but, you like, not really hyper-offensive. It, it could pass his balance. Help me, Satan. <laughs> um... I'm assuming that's you, Brendan. <laughs> Just because he, like, rarely has caps in his alt. Um, plus commit seppuku. Anyway, <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and lead Fori, because I think Fori is my best, best play. Um, because, you know, getting rocks up really helps me versus Manson. I can get another spike up even if he does lead Magnazone, which is pretty neat. Um... He leads Magneton, cool. D doesn't really matter to me at all because I'm just getting Uno, Spyco, and one Rock, I think. And that should be all I need, but... And, and, and that's kind of like the cool thing about this like group of Pokemon right here is that they don't have enough power to like Oko the entire tier or like two at KO the entire tier on the switch but as soon as you get a rock and a spike up it's like suddenly things change Heliolisk becomes a mon that's pretty pitifully weak to all of a sudden a very very threatening mon especially when put in conjunction with stuff like Entei because 99.9% .9 of the time they're clicking a water move versus Entei and uh, when they're not they're clicking a ground move which means a bomb snow gets a pretty good switch and you know it's just all around a pretty cool core and then you add stuff like me and Shao and Dublade to patch up the rock weaknesses you also get a spin blocker and a spiker or not a spiker a scarfer so you know things working pretty good on that front so he just ends up t-bolting again which is fine um looking like a pretty easy switch out into me and Shao right here i can just click a reckless high jump kick if i want to um and i think i'm going to because even Vaporeon is going to be dented by this right here. And when he goes out on a Vaporeon, it's a pretty easy switch for me out into Heliolisk. Um, I can just fire off a Grass Knot, probably. Grass Knot or Hyper Voice. We'll see how recklessly he plays. Ends up going straight out in a Dawn Fan. Is this 2 a KO'd? That's 2 a KO'd. Um, of course, I run the risk of missing and letting him rapid spin away my hazards which would be incredibly lame um but seeing as i want to keep up offensive pressure right here and i'm probably just going to go ahead and stay in so i do um because also dublade is a very very nice checked luke late game as long as he's not carrying eq um i'm not running sacred sword on on dublade but shadow claw seems to be helping me out a lot more um he goes into immense right here which is pretty scary um do I just click high jump kick again? Maybe. That could be a play. Um, I feel it, I feel like I should save this though, so I'm going to go out into Dublade right here. Because I knew 
because I know Dewblade is a man and can eat a hit, any one hit. And uh, I can just click Iron Head right here, then follow it up with a Shadow Sneak. And despite the fact that I was just talking about how useful Dewblade would be later this match, it's not going to be, um, unfortunately, just because I will have to sack it right here in order to. Wow, nice voice crack. I'll have to sack it right here in order to get damage off uh, on Ments. But looking like Obama could. Uh, Obama Snow could put in some work late game. Um, but it's kind of hard when he has like two steel types just chilling there. Um, if I do find a way to get rid of his two steel types, though, Obama Snow is going to have a field day, especially since it can live a flash cannon from uh, Magnus Magneton. Almost said Magnazone, not Magnazone. That you're all you, buddy. We're going to go ahead and put on, put on the timer right here just because, you know. This dude is not making his move. Um, we'll see if he has Fire Blast right here. If he's DD Fire Blast, then I just got cooked. He crits me with Earthquake and said, wonderful, love this game. Um, fairly certain that wouldn't have killed, considering Dewblade is insanely bulky, but I'm just going to click Ice Shard right here. You will die. And if you want to switch out, that's fine by me. Don't really have any choice about oh, This was definitely not the switch. Um, if he would have gone into Luke right there, then I was in trouble. Um... I can just click Seed Bomb right here, hoping he won't burn me with the Scald. Um, I could also switch to Heliolisk, but you know, I don't really think he'll Scald right here because he, lo he loses a lot of momentum if I do just go into Heliolisk, because Heliolisk actually does kind of clean his team from this point, um, because Grass Knot will do a hefty chunk to Rhyperior. Um, Magnazone is about the last thing that I can't dent, because Luke isn't super bulky either. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause it until this guy makes a move, because this guy is clearly... Oh, never mind. I lied. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, get off some Seed Bomb damage, which is nice. And look at that. That Seed Bomb did 36%, but after the 6% from Rocks, 6% from Hail, and 12% from Spikes, that basically is a 2 at KO. Um, not from this range, but y you get my point. Um... I think I'm kind of free to seed bomb again. Don't really have a whole lot of things I like switching into this, so probably just going to go ahead and do that. Because if he does Volt Switch right here, then uh, he did. Um, well, basically whatever comes in takes a huge hit, uh, especially if it is Luke. It'd be nice to get some damage off on Luke. Um, it really allows me to just click High Jump Kick later in the game, especially now that this thing has taken, like... Once it comes back in, it should be in KO range of my boy Mian Xiao. So, work being done as he does click Volt Switch. Didn't really think he was going to click Flash Cannon right there. Um, and even if he did, I think I can live one as long as he's not Specs. Ends up going into Vaporeon. Bye! <laughs> um, so, that's nice to get that thing out of the way. It just makes it a little easier for Entei to click Sacred Fire now. Um, because none of the things on his team appreciate a burn. And... He's definitely clicking Flash Cannon right here. Wow, nice voice crack again. Um, I do have Extreme Speed chilling in the back, though. So, I don't think it's too much of an issue if I just click Ice Shard right here. Try to get some chip damage off and uh, just let him go down to hail. So, I think that's what I'm going to go ahead and do as he ends up knocking me out. So, double down right there, which is fine by me because, as I said... I have Heliolisk right here, which does have the opportunity to put in some work versus his team now. Because if he does go out into Rhyperior, I do have Grass Knot. Luke is going to be threatened by this Thunderbolt. And uh, even if he just chooses to stay in, it's like, okay, he goes out into Rhyperior, which is great for me. Because I actually would like this thing a little weakened. Um, really helps uh, Entei a lot if this thing is weakened. And he also doesn't really gain anything by pivoting around at this point because... The hazard pressure is here right now, so Rhyperior is gone. Um, I may be in E-Speed range right here from that, and if I am, that's disappointing Heliolisk. Well, like, Heliolisk has 140 defense, 265 HP. It's like, it's obviously not tanking that many hits, but hopefully it can live an 80 base power coverage move, even from an Adamant Life Orb Luke. But, you know, we shall see. Even if it doesn't, I have a feeling I will be able to pull through because as long as Mian Xiao feels like hitting one high jump kick, then I win automatically because I highly doubt he's DD Roost Mints. And he goes into Luke. I click close com or not close combat. I click high jump kick. It dies. Um, and then Entei can just click E-Speed versus Mints. 
So, um, that should wrap this. Yeah, I lived. Yum. <laughs> that should wrap this game up. Heliolisk will bring it home. So, looking like a 3-0 as opposed to like a 2-0 or a 1-0. So, hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. And hope you guys uh, did enjoy this team. You know, I, I don't think it's a bad team. Um, had kind of a bad matchup um, first game. But if you guys want this team, just... Uh, comment about it. I will certainly drop the pace bin. It's not that big of a deal to me. Um, and so make sure to leave a like if you guys did enjoy today's episode. Also, make sure to answer today's comment question of the video, which is um, I don't know what the comment question of the video should be about, to be completely honest with you. Um, I guess what m musical artists have been interesting you guys lately? Um, I'm kind of at the point right now to where I'm cycling between a few songs, and I know that that point is going to come where I'm like, okay, I'm tired of this. I got to move on and find more stuff. So kind of looking to expand there if, if you get what I'm saying. But anyway, um, with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. And with that, I'll catch you on the flip-flop.